Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival. In the last episode, if you did not watch it, we finally completed all our possible advancements. So if you haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. I highly recommend that you do. Now, we still have a few things to do on the board here if we go down and take a quick look. If we take a look here, as you can see, we have completed finished all advancements as much as possible. Defeat the Wither, which we have done twice now. Make a full beacon which we have also done twice now. The final things are something unknown. Make a second base and achieve hidden obelisk, which is a hidden advancement, um, but I wanted to make it as a separate thing because, yeah, I just wanted to make it a separate thing. Now, uh, we have multiple things to do in this episode because I want to do multiple things and we are going to do multiple things. That didn't even make sense. Anyways, one of them is that we got to activate this beacon. Eh? Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, no. Hi. Yeah, I'm not wearing a chest plate. Um, there we go. Thank you. Um, let's step away from that, because that is just a tiny bit loud. Anyway, um, in the last episode, I asked you guys what you think I should put the beacon to, as we already have strength and regeneration. Um, and it was suggested, I will put it on screen right now, that we choose jump boost and speed. Oh, wait. Jump boost is... Oh... Right, I forgot. I thought we could choose jump, bo jump boost and speed, but we can only choose one. I think speed 2 is going to be the most nice one to have, I think. Because we're not jumping a whole lot, we're more moving around. So let's do that. I can always change this one. So now we have speed 2, and oh my, this is... This is big. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Ah, you can't catch me. Come and catch me. You can't catch me. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. Come and catch me. Oh, you can... Ow, you actually shot me. Okay. <laughs> so that... Hello. So that is that done. And ow, that looks painful with that arrow. But okay. Um, oh, wow. My FOV field of view is looking very weird now because of that speed. Um, anyways, we have a bunch of other stuff to do. It was brought to my attention that apparently I did my enchantments wrong. You see, as you maybe know, if you enchant gold armor, gold armor has a way higher chance of getting good enchantments. Um, but apparently, netherite armor has a higher possibility of getting higher, higher level enchantments and better enchantments than normal diamond armor so your your chance of getting multiple enchantments per enchantment and the level being higher the chance of all that increases when you enchant netherite so that's a thing to remember so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna enchant these diamond boots i'm gonna re-enchant this netherite chest plate hopefully i get something good and then i also want to enchant this crossbow if we can get piercing. I have this bending right here. If we do get a piercing, which we will need for the obelistic one, um, that will be really, really good. Now I'm going to upgrade these other right boots first and then enchant them afterwards. So that is the game plan for right now. And then we have some more stuff that we want to do afterwards. But first, uh, we will have to grindstone this guy. And as you can see, I've gotten some more levels so we can actually enchant this stuff. So first off, we will convert these to another right boots. And secondly, we will need to buy a few things. You chill there, buddy. We need to buy a few things from Bob over here, which we can now get over to extremely quickly. So I need to buy a bunch of Lapis Lazuli here, both to enchant this, but then also to enchant that. And then maybe some extra just to have it. Yep, there we go. All right, got some extra. And while I'm here, I'm gonna buy one piece of redstone dust. We will need that later. So let's get back up and do these enchantments. All right, let's see if we can get something good. Protection three, so I'm gonna move on. Protection three as well. Piercing three is what I want. We actually need piercing five, I believe, but piercing three is a big step towards the right direction. Here's 6 3 and on 3. That's really, really good. What if we smack in another crossbow? On breaking 3. Ooh, and piercing 3. Oh, we could get piercing 4 right away, actually. 
Um, and we have actually we actually have the lapis to do it. It would be stupid if we uh, didn't do this. But first, mm, no, it might change. Let's get it. Piercing three and unbreaking three again. Wow. Um, let's convert these. I don't really care that they're damaged. Quick charge, piercing one, piercing one. Quick charge, piercing. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's repair these. Boom. Combine. And then we should be able to combine all this afterwards. But first, uncharge that. Cool. Now we need to enchant the armor. Thorns 2. Death Strider 3. That's not what I want. Uh, let's just hope for the best. Let's go. I can always get more levels and lapis. That is perfect. Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, and Thorns 2. That is exactly what I wanted for this chest plate. So that is really, really good. Death Strider 3 still. I really do not want Death, Death Strider. That's what I already got here. I want Feather Falling. So I'm just going to wait with that. I'm going to put these in here. Uh, right there. That's good. Um, I'll just keep wearing these for now. Because I need to combine these. So Piercing 3, Piercing 3. That's going to cost 10 levels. But that's going to result in... Us getting a pretty powerful bow crossbow right there piercing four how much is that gonna cost that's only gonna cost five so we'll wait with that until we have another piercing um, crossbow just out of curiosity I'm being three piercing two all right I'll have to get another piercing four crossbow at some point and then we can combine it with that and then get mending on it and hopefully we can then get the obelistic hidden advancement uh, in another episode. Now, I have been, oh, this episode is already like seven minutes long, so we gotta get a move on here. What I wanna do today is not completely finished, but I want to start the build of a second base. You guys have been asking me to make, to asking me if base delta from season one will make a return. And the answer is yes, we will have a base delta version 2.0. And it's probably going to take multiple episodes to build it, because I don't really want to make time lapses out of it. Um, but we'll see. We have a bunch of building materials here. And I'm just gonna, I'm just going to take a chill. I'm just going to take a chill. So first things first, I want to make a compass. Like that. And we will make a lodestone. We'll get a lodestone here that we have found. Because then we can combine those two and we can have a compass um, telling us to go there. Now, just with our levels, I want to put this one in. And rename it to uh, okay we can actually do that so home base there we go that's gonna cost one level but that is nice that will point us to our home base next up we gotta transfer a bunch of stuff uh, a lot of these building supplies I need so I just want every single piece of building block that I actually have in my ender chest and I'm gonna make an ender chest that I can bring with me and place down wherever I choose to make the base because we'll need it. Uh, respawn anchor definitely need that as well. More blackstone that's gonna be very useful because probably a lot of it is gonna be made out of the stuff. Don't think we'll want the soul soil but you know what I'm gonna take it anyway. Take the shroom lights for sure. Take the twist vines you never know. We'll get some uh, wood on the way. And I think that's gonna be. You know what? You can have. You never know. Maybe you want some gravel. Let's take some gravel with us. I think that is good. Now I can't break all of it in the ender chest, but that is all right. Uh, do I have glowstone for the respawn anchor? I wonder. I probably, <laughs> probably don't. Uh, that's my last resort. I guess we'll have to get some of that too. Let's break some chains as well. Um, can't imagine I'll need more than a stack, right? And then let's get half the lanterns, because you never know. And I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, we have a bunch of quartz here. You know what, let's just convert all the quartz into, like, actual blocks of quartz, because in, in no scenario am I gonna actually, like, use these as items. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Probably didn't, but uh, I'm gonna roll with it. Now I just gotta craft another ender chest. 
to bring with us because it seems like I don't have one, which is fine. And boom, another ender chest for our trip we can place down. All right, I think we are ready. Now the cool thing is there is actually a basalt delta fairly close to us in that direction. Ow. Oh, you finally came down. Goodbye. Um, there is a basalt delta pretty close to us over here in this direction. So it's not gonna be too long from home, but I just wanna build in a basalt delta because it's cool and that's what base delta is all about. So maybe we can find the outskirts of the basalt deltas and then we can actually maybe make like a path to the from one end of the basalt deltas to another. Maybe something like that so it's safe to travel. I don't know. And then it will be a form of outpost. Maybe. Who knows? I don't actually know if I've gone in this direction actually. Like past the basalt deltas here. I don't actually know if I have. That's actually going to be interesting to take a look at. As you can see here, it starts. This is actually where we got our very first Blackstone, I believe, at the beginning of Season 2. Um, but yeah, here you can see the Basalt Delta's beginning. I've been here before getting... Uh, what's it called? Get, getting, getting Blackstone here. And right here I don't want to make it because this is an absolute pain. There's just so many of these guys and it's a pain. It is an absolute pain to deal with these guys. And it's so annoying. And now, look, there's gonna spawn like a hundred thousand of these small guys. I need to poke every one of them with my axe to get rid of them. Why? And the magma cream isn't even that useful for me. Like, at all. Yeah, I don't think I've actually, honestly, ventured out further than this. Like, seriously. I can't leave these small guys behind because I might get knocked in the lava. I'm gonna deal with this guy too. Why? So what I want to do is I want to find a cool area that I can actually do this in. Whoa! Get down, fella. Get, get down. Come on. Ow. I'm not really liking any of these spots if I'm being honest with you, but that... Oh. I'm hoping for, I was hoping for some open area where I can build it. Like in Season 1, I really want that open area open feeling but so far this is not very open all right i'm gonna be honest with you this place is a little bit better um especially if we did something up there but i actually don't want it to be in a cliff to be fair with you i don't want it to be in a cliff so if i just started building and digging into that i don't want to do that i don't want to have it hanging there I mean, right here is actually not a bad spot. Um, I'm gonna place this warp wood here. Just two, like that. Because what I'm seeing here, you are just annoying. We could have a building there, having some pillars going down into the lava as for support, and then having it maybe branch out and be partially inside of that. That would be pretty cool. Pretty good view as well. So that is definitely an option if it doesn't get any better over here. And I think that is what we will be going for because otherwise we would have to place it here and we wouldn't have such a good view except that we would have that big black cube in front of us. I would rather not have that. I would rather have it over there, maybe a path leading over here to that place. I don't actually know if I have, if I have uh, looted that actually. Now what is the visibility of... They're being down here, looking up. Yeah, we would be able to see it quite clearly from over here. So what do we have? We have a soul sand biome over there. We have a crimson forest there. I don't know if we have like a fortress nearby. We obviously have a bastion. Don't know if we have a fortress nearby. We don't have to have a fortress nearby whatsoever. I think this place might be cool. I would like a warped forest nearby though. I think this place is gonna be pretty cool. Because something we could do, it, that would be a huge amount of work, by the way. Uh, but what we could do, we could have base delta there. Right. We would have a bastion over there. We, we could make a pretty cool floating bridge over to, right in the center of that cube, if we wanted to. We could make paths over there. We could make something here. Maybe I'd make this into a monument. 
but we could also make our own warped forest with uh, warped saplings over here and then spread the nylium I think it's called over here and have a corner of it being that and then be that part of uh, base delta having a man-made warped fortress for warped forest I think that's a play I think that will be the play so let's set up shop over here by this wood and now I just gotta remember how I want to do this or think of how I want to do this rather right so I think what I'm gonna do here is have the base somewhat inside of this maybe a block or two in that and then have some support going out into the lava here just having it stick out a little tiny bit and then maybe have it go into this right here which is kind of why I want to go let it go down a little bit um, maybe this is gonna be trial and error and it might not be perfect <laughs> gonna say that much um, but hopefully we should oh, no 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 we'll need to be careful of that as well right uh, how do we want to do this? I guess let's first off take this down and set up shop just in case we get ambushed or something bad happens. Set the respawn point. Uh, I believe I can pick up a lodestone again. I'm not gonna risk it though, just in case. All right, all right. Time to time to start counting and whatnot. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. If we go back like four, how much of that would that be? I definitely want to pick up this uh, basalt because I don't actually have any basalt. So that would be pretty good getting some of that. And yeah, having maybe a floor here. Maybe I have the floor going down a bit. But then I'm afraid it's going to take out too much of that. I have to put in a floor there. But then again, I think that actually might look better. If we bring it down a bit, so it goes more into this stuff. And then the door, the door can be more of a basement door over here. But we can have, obviously, multiple doors, especially being it down here and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 I think that this is what we've got to do. Now the question is, what on earth am I going to do for the flooring? <laughs> I didn't actually pick up any uh, warp wood. I do have 46 planks on me. Um, this has got to be the stuff that I use the most, I don't think. Uh, but of course we'll have to make deal with what we got. I think what would be cool is a border with uh, blackstone bricks. Uh, polished blackstone and then blackstone bricks. So if we just place these down like this. Uh... Like that, maybe out one more. I want to keep the building somewhat simple, but still, of course, look good. And then we have normal quartz on the inside of this. I just want to get the, uh, what's it called, the uh, foundations done here. Then you guys can give me feedback as well for the next episode where we will then be continuing this build. So yeah, this is what I want. I want it to go in there, kind of, into the natural generated stuff. So we just keep this going. Remember, this is the floor. This is not the walls. This is the floor. Um, so if I just cut it off here, for example, and we get some, get some quartz. Actually, I don't have that much quartz now that I look at it. Like, I actually don't have that much quartz. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely want to use slabs when I can here because that that's gonna be that's gonna be big maybe maybe the border should be definitely don't want the area to be spawnable that's the thing actually we might want to place down the slabs like this and make the floor look like that I just feel like I want some sort of pattern to the floor that doesn't make it as boring to look at I think I'm gonna drop this part of having the floor made out of... I'm still gonna use slabs, but having it lowered down like this and having that as a requirement is gonna be pretty bad for when building and wanting to add detail. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then we'll just have to deal 
with the spawn issues when they arise, if they arise. But for now, I think I'll just add it like this. For example, if I wanted to, for some weird reason, I could add gilded blackstone into it, for example, every, I don't know, other block, maybe? Maybe a roof and walls are gonna be higher priority than I anticipated. <laughs> uh, no, go away. Oh, I forgot you split up into multiple parts. Like, I could add a pattern like that. Or something. I don't know. I definitely want the base, I think, to actually turn right here. And go into that way a little bit. Somehow, so I'm just gonna get that out so I can remember myself that I want to do that. Because that's definitely gonna be something... I want that to be just one room. I want it to be a bigger area with, like, chest room and stuff. All right, I have been doing some expansion work. This is just some redesigning and some some work on this. And I think it will eventually, it will come along. But it is going to take a lot of trial and error, especially because I am not that great at building and designing at the same time while recording as well. So you're, you're going to see a lot of mess ups and a lot of uh, whoops and no, that doesn't look great, etc. Uh, so I hope you'll be alright with that. <laughs> I hope you guys will enjoy these next couple of building episodes. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Two episodes? Three episodes maybe? I don't know. Something like that. I don't want to cut out too much. I want to do it kind of like I've done today. Um, with small updates and stuff like that. And also thinking out loud, I guess. But this is kind of what we have going. I might... I'm gonna leave it here. Because I, I want to. I want to brainstorm a little bit. I want to think... Um, I want to think out how to, I want the walls and how I want the windows and the roof and stuff like that. Uh, I want to, I want to make sure that I get it right. So, I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know your suggestions down below in the comments, how you think I should continue this. Um, and yeah, we'll continue the build in the next episode. I also need to figure something out for life, but I can tell right now that I hate how this looks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know your feedback down below in the comments. I'm gonna be thinking as well. Uh, and we'll continue with the next episode, probably with the support pillars. Definitely gonna fix this up, figure out how it's gonna be here in the front, and then move on to this area right here. I can definitely feel something for this though. Like having it, having this on top of it and having it move in and build in with the rest of the terrain. I like that. But anyways guys, I'm gonna call this episode here. I need to think. I need to make some plans, and uh, I want to hear you guys' suggestions down below in the comments. So let me know. Also, if you, let me know if you like these kind of buildy videos where I cut it out here and there, I think out loud. Let me know if you like that style as well down below. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet enabled those notifications, and I hope to see you in the next one. Um, yeah. Please send help, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Have a good day and goodbye.